Sorry. Do you want to make a lockbox? I will show you how to make a lockbox. Maybe for free, depending on what you have in your house. Let's go! Here's what you're gonna need. Um, this is optional, but, you know, just for the safety of your tables and everything. Uh, you could, should probably <laughs> go out and get a self-healing cutting board. Or even like a normal cutting board, the kind that would, you would use like in the kitchen or whatever, that could work too. Um, you're going to need a box. Uh, this is, you know, generally just use a shoe box. This is the kind that, you know, has like a flap kind of thing. If you don't have a box with like, you know, the lid like this, if you just have a kind of box where the lid is separate, I will have another video on that. And I will put the link right on, right where this candy wrapper is. Yes, so go click that candy wrapper to figure out how to make hinged boxes. There we go. That. Click that. Hopefully it's there. Okay. So anyways, so box. But depending on what you're using it for, you have to be mindful of if it had just a hole or not. If you're using the lockbox, you know, like to store money, that could be helpful if you want to like, you know, just like, stuff money in there from time to time, but if not, may like look for something that doesn't have that or find a way to cover it. Just like put some construction paper on the inside, I don't know. Okay. So other things that you will need. It's an exacto knife. Or, you know, generally just some sort of blade that you can cut with easily. Hence cutting that. Uh you will need a zip tie. I have two sizes here teeny tiny one and a bigger one uh, what you do want to keep in mind is that if it's something smaller like this it's going to be also thinner if you're using this for something that you really don't want people getting in probably go with a thicker one just because it's a lot harder to cut through so yeah and finally you want a lock like sure whatever kind of lock you have is fine this is just what I have lying around you can use the Pad lock, combination lock, whatever works. So you can do that. Okay. I've never done this before, so let's hope I don't cut my fingers off on screen. Figure out where it is on the box that you want the lock to be. We go for like more or less center. I'm lazy, so I'm not going to measure this out. But yeah. And then you can space them. Yeah. Well, it depends on like. How big your lock is, how big your zip tie is. I'd say like at least a centimeter and a half apart. Okay, so let's kind of test it out to make sure you can see that. Okay, test it out to make sure the zip tie gets through. Yes, it does. Oh my god, it's magic. You've made that hole, as you can see right there. And then, as I said, you're going to make one about a centimeter and a half further down. Okay, so there you can see it's got two little holes that are actually quite crooked. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're quite off, but whatever. It's not... That's all that counts. So I use the short one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to throw this through. We're just gonna leave it like that for now. We want to make sure your zip tie will be able to clip. That's the basic idea. Okay. So this is the part of the video where I haven't really thought it through. So just kind of put your finger in here and feel where the bottom of the thing is. So I sort of more or less marked it off and looked them like some sort of alias. We're going to try to cut that out. So you now I got to get a hole that is, you know, slightly off center. With your Zip tie, but that's okay. That's what I think you should take away from the switch. Okay. 
Okay, so what you're gonna apparently have to do. You're gonna have to tape this puppy down. There we go. Oh my god. Oh wait, okay. Okay. We're safe. Okay, so you're gonna tape that inside part of the zip tie down. And you're just kinda kinda bend this into like a little V. And then Boom. Final step. Now that you have thankfully not, you know, cut off your fingers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Boom. All your your items are safe now. This is like ugh, one level of safety. But I'm gonna make more levels of safety more different ways to do this which I will probably also be trying out on camera for the first time for you guys so yeah stay tuned for that let's hope I don't cut my fingers off here are all ten while they're still intact this is box you cannot make it go into the world and keep your things to yourself I don't know okay bye guys Chum. That was terrible.